glass to me is pretty much crazy cool. I make a collection of very bespoke and unique glass objects that each have their own aesthetic. From an early age in high school in Bermuda, I was lucky enough to have a kiln. I was able to look at how organically you can create something with limited resources. You know, you've got mud and something to ignite it with flames and, you know, voila, you've got a sculpture that will last forever. I've looked at woodwork, metalwork, digital processes, and then fundamentally having glass as a main medium. I came across glass blowing and glass sculpting, and I instantly had a full-on just fascination with how material could be manipulated in so many different ways. Mold blowing is one of the oldest techniques, and in my own practice, I'm able to sustainably make dozens of pieces from one digital mold, which helps for productivity and there's no byproducts, no waste. A lot of my work begins with sketches and drawings and then evolving into more of a digital platform and looking at a computerized edit from that point moving on to more of a 3D basis and then sculpting and 3D cutting and forming objects from these sketches. From the beginning of my practice professionally, I was very aware of the limitations of glass making and how accessible it is to certain places around the world and looking at the cultural imprint behind glass making. It is there. I have a strong heart for being an inspiration to younger people of any background and any ethnicity. It's really, really significant for them to be aware that this occupation that doesn't seem viable to them because of the color of the skin or their personality, you shouldn't not do it because essentially it's, it's something that you have a passion for. A lot of the work I do is looking at this is someone's reality, this is what they see over and over again, how do you breach beyond that reality? When I'm working with glass, is a constant battle between my mental state and my physical state. It feels like a film, a sense of suspense and drama, and knowing that if you don't respect what you're doing, it could all go terribly wrong. A constant challenge of weight, of sweat, heat, and fire. I think one of the roles traditional craft plays within my own practice is sustainability. Having a sense of longevity within the work that I do is really important to me because it's touching on the culture and heritage behind glass making and having the ability to implement digital-based concepts and designs and really utilizing a new contemporary style is a real testament to traditional making.